that's you right now. We're back here with Pikmin 4, where we're getting into sort of our first proper day here. And there's sort of, the, uh, like I was saying before, the training wheels are sort of coming off here just a little bit. I've already <laughs> received a wound from an enemy trying to keep my Pikmin safe like an idiot. And I've been wasting time uh, all over the shop here. So we got to get uh, cracking here. We just unlocked the commands for uh, Wachi. So let's do that thing. And uh, raw materials, uh, Omar Wright already said this. Oh, the red Pikmin. Is this a new entry? Some all of a sudden. Fire should be a natural enemy of the Pikmin, but red Pikmin continue through the flames where other Pikmins would burn. Their attacks are also a little bit stronger than others other Pikmin. Could these qualities somehow be related? They're fiery ones, they are. As the evening fell, the Pikmin climbed back up into the Onion to disguise alongside the SS Dolphin. Astonishing! The Onion must both be a nest and a form of transportation. Some of these are lifted almost verbatim from Pikmin 1, which is pretty cool. Anyway, off we go. Um, yoink. Wait, where were the others? I was trying to... Oh, right, these ones are bringing them back. Oh, did they They found some a pile of resources on the other side, did they? Interesting. I'll just send these two with this so that we can get that going a little faster. I hope we get a command for Awachi to, um, uh... What does it mean, switch? Well, we'll learn pack and switch later. So we want to sniff for castaways is what they wanted to do. They're probably going to tell us they're in a hole nearby or something. I hope we get a command later to tell Owachi to go pick up Pikmin from the base and bring them to us. Because that'll be awesome. Uh, but for the moment, I'm just going to hang around with them until they get here so we can bring our full force. Because I don't want to be going anywhere uh, without all 20. Alright, let's uh, shove off here. So 24 of this little... Wait, did they call it? They give it a name? Whatever it is. So this is some kind of raw material. 24 of them, which is nice. 300 sparkly out of the uh, 1500 we need. Oh my goodness. Are these just going to have nectar in them? I hope so. I hope it's not going to be anything worse. Like, okay, good. <laughs> so can I, um, uh, can I just, like, walk over through them in this game? Ah, yeah, you... Oh, okay, no, right, it's like Pikmin 3 where each of them takes just a small amount of it. Did you see that? It bloomed a flower. What's going on here? What's going on here, Captain Shepard? Is that now they have flowers in their head and they run faster and they're super strong? Hmm... That substance is called nectar. When Pikmin consume it, it stimulates their growth, apparently. The voyage log says that the more they grow, the faster they move. They really are mysterious creatures. I thought they also did more damage. Maybe I'm imagining that. Yeah, anyway, um, since it's not like Pikmin 1 and 2 where you have to like swarm them all over it quickly, uh, we can just have them all take it as as they will. Well, each one gave you 10, so that's perfect. This is a hole of some sort here. Um, I should have Oachi sniff to see if that's where our uh, missing friends are going to be. Look, there's a cave here too. This area is crawling with creatures. Our rescue officers could have retreated to the cave to get away from them. Well, we should probably take a look inside. We should not do anything. I might have a look inside. Uh, let's see if Owachi uh, agrees that they're down there. Oh, I'm pressing Y. Oh, it won't do anything for some reason. Oh, do I have to have him selected? No, why won't that... What? Why, why won't Why won't Y do anything anymore? Oh, that was weird. Where do you smell our friends? Follow us in. Yeah, it's leading right in here, isn't it? Uh, should we go... Let's, let's just explore briefly around uh, elsewhere before we do that. Coming from the side of the gate, got it. Let's just, uh, let's see if, uh, we, if we can get anything else done up, up top here before we go down there. I know it's like mission crucial that they not die and everything, but they'll survive a little longer. And since they're resistant to fire, we can, oh, another uh, dr drop point, is it? Huh, another circle of stones. We keep finding them in the most opportune locations. How interesting. <laughs> Wait, so we can we can move our, our home base for the day? If, that's cool. Maybe Captain Olimar left them behind for us so we could track them down. Or not, not our home base, but our like our, our FOB. Oh, no. Never mind that for now. I wonder if we're in this creature's territory. <laughs> well, <laughs> we're about to not be, because this thing is about to die. Oh, no. We should create a base here. Any Dendori master would tell you it's the most efficient way forward. Well, won't it take time though? <laughs> but first, let's do something about that pesky creature already. Way ahead of you, Captain. Yeah. Since these are, it's a fiery one. Um, I mean, our our red uh, red pigment shouldn't have any problems with it. Oh dear, Owachi should though. Uh, like, I completely forgot that Owachi. I wish I could tell Owachi to stay somewhere. Owachi's tail's burning! Oh. Put the fire out with me right away! Yes, sorry, I completely forgot that dogs would be susceptible to fire. How, is there really no way I can tell Owachi to stay? Because he's just gonna die in every fight otherwise. Oh man, I lost some petals after. Because uh, I was trying to focus on keeping Owachi alive. Anyway, we got some raw materials off it. It wasn't a total uh, bust, that one. I can already tell Owachi's gonna go go die a whole lot. There's gotta be a way to tell Owachi to stay so I can fight things myself. Because, like, I, I can actually maneuver myself somewhat. Oh, do they- wait. Sorry, hold on just a second. Can you c get them back by just hovering your cursor over them? No, it was just because I ran near. Oh, okay, cool. You, in the other games, you have to run much closer than that for that to work. Okay, I'm not, I'm not feeling good about fighting this thing with six, uh... Let's wait for our entire crew to be back, and then we'll go into that cave, probably. Look at all the fruit hanging around here. Oh, never mind. 
Oh, Rugged Scaffold. Okay, these are the different uh, bases we have. Oh, right. Why am I doing that when I should move the base here? Is that our, our Pikmin can bring that stuff here. Sorry, Pikmin. Everyone come back this way. <laughs> right, and you guys can do that. Oh, so these are this is where we could use those raw materials, I bet, is in bridges like these. Which are a lot like the ones in Pikmin 3. Was this under construction at some point? I wonder who's working on it. What is that, like a hose? or a, Like it's a garden hose or something over there. Hooked up to a watering can. I'm sure we could put it to good use if it was finished. Yes, indeed. But not for the moment. So I can go and water Kenawachi. He's totally fine. No, no, he drowns just like Pikmin. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. This is bad. Owachi can't swim. Call him back to land with the whistle. So I'm not allowed to go in the water because Owachi will follow me. That's no good. There's got to be a stay command, right? I don't know why I'm... Why, like, has very... Oh, you have to hold it. I'm so sorry. Um. Oh, I can disband Owachi. Okay, see, I, I thought... I thought that would be only for Pikmin because it had a Pikmin face on it. Okay, good. So I can I can leave behind when I go to fight, which is good because I'm gonna want to. No, uh, we're we're doing all good with uh, keeping the Pikmin together. Don't worry, boss. Not doing great with managing time, but what is all that over there? Oh, those are monsters. We haven't been up there right yet. Oh, okay. Now watch. You can pull this from this side, right? Okay. We're gonna want to explore this in a minute, but I'd like I'd rather fight this over here. I really want to try fighting it myself <laughs> without any Pikmin, just like the good old days. All right, tell you what. Oh, sorry. Uh, keep carrying that, please. Y'all, hang around here. Oh, I see you disband by by whichever thing you have selected. I gotcha. Lee's got some work to do. The Karate Master, back on Gia, Gaia. Must ride again, you fiend. You think you can get me? I'm gonna punch you in the back of the knees. Go for the back of the knees, Lee. You're, you can use your short height to your advantage. Ah, ooh, no, no, you're not gonna get me with that. No, you aren't. Oh my god, they're a little faster in this game. You fiend. You fiend. A waste of time, maybe. But I'm not risking my precious dog or Pikmin. You can't shake me off with that. I have my reflexes are much too quick. Don't touch me. I hope we get the rocket punch in this game. That would be awesome. I think probably not, because they probably want to de-emphasize uh, Captain Combat. Because they want to emphasize Oachi and Pikmin Combat, but even still. I'm wasting so much time doing this. Oh, pff, I thought I could duck behind it. Okay, you have way less health in this game than Pikmin 3, which is good, because you have way too much health in that game, but... Okay, I just gotta play it careful. Play it safe. If I die in the first, the second day, this is gonna be really embarrassing. Quarter of the way there! Oh man, I love the way that it looks like an armored carapace. Like, it looks kind of like a ladybug, this thing, in this game. The way they've done the, the back is really cool. Yes, I know it's mid- it's mid noon. I'm sorry. Yes, I know where they are. Okay, fine. I could do it that way, but in the interest of not, you know, losing all our time and all our friends die and we starve to death. Let's- let's be a little serious about this. You'll want to keep a close eye on the creatures, but if they move around a lot, they can easily escape your line of sight. When that happens, there's a handy trick for keeping your site's name where you want them. Uh, oh, auto target lock is, is at arc. Okay, got it. Oh, okay, okay. So it's kind of like Pikmin 3 where you can you can still keep the lock on one particular monster. Okay, good, good. That is excellent. Uh, perfect, because I'm just going to absolutely bum rush these things back and I'm going to hold X to charge. Oh, never mind. That was good enough. <laughs> that goes way faster than me doing it myself. I mean, I may be strong for a, a, a Gaian, but um, the Pikmin are way stronger. <laughs> Hey, I did a third of it myself, and so I, 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 risk, I risked them less there, because if I hadn't done that, they might not have taken it down in, in time to uh, uh, take it out before it had a chance to attack them. So I feel uh, just fine having done that. So, Red Pikmin, not so good with electricity. Let's avoid those. Man, those are lifted straight out of Pikmin 3. I love how, I like that there is some design continuity from Pikmin 3 here. They're not, like, sort of, they're not, like, making it so different every time that it's unrecognizable. Hey, Wachi. Right, uh, we'll explore just a little bit around here, take a few more monsters out, and then we'll head down that cave, I think. What I don't know is if cave- Ooh, there's a pole over there. Is if the caves, um, uh, stop time like they do in Pikmin 2. I'm gonna guess not in this game, because that seems a little different. Oh, those are just single, uh, uh, dwarf bulwars, so we can one-shot them. We don't need a, a large strike force to get, take them down. I suppose maybe I should be leaving a few of these in case we find a new Pikmin type uh, before the day is out. But you know what? I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Wow, they're really generous with uh, uh, the the one shot range in this, especially since it auto locks on. Nope, not lost. I know precisely where I'm going. Uh, if I can charge you, can I uh, ask him to charge now? Okay, here we go. This probably does a lot of damage. Yeah, uh, a little bit. Anyway, I'll, I'll help out with the punching too. Yeah, some fire. There you go. Oh right, I gotta remember. Watch, he's not uh, fire resistant, so that was uh, not necessarily the wisest thing to do. What I just did. That's cool that it sort of stops you once you've thrown the first five. Just so if you only wanted to throw the minimum, you can mash to do that. But then if you want to throw some more after, you're good. All right, we are really burning the daylight here, so I gotta get in that cave. But I'm I'm very into this whole exploring and getting everything uh, set here. Uh, right, I can't jump unless I have a bigger dog. 
which I guess we'll be getting later, so that's that for now. Interesting that we're only allowed 20 at the moment. Maybe that's, so maybe it is like you only get allowed a certain amount of each type. Whereas in the other games, it was just 100 Pikmin, period. Um, is there anything more here we haven't explored? Okay, we did not go all the way over here. We've only got 12 now, and we haven't got a watchy, but... Can I whistle it? Get him over here? Like, is there like a, come over to me, uh, command? No, well, he's just probably just gonna do that anyway. Curious about what's over here. Last thing we're exploring is over here, and then, uh, we'll head back. Oh, wait a moment. But there's an onion there. And a monster! And another sand wall, is that it? And a treasure! Oh my god, okay, no, actually, we should totally be- Ah, sheer grubs! Sheer grubs, they got sheer grubs! Okay, good thing they're more or less a one-shot all of a sudden, too. They weren't quite that easy to take down any other ones. <laughs> or could you- No, you could one-shot them in the first game, maybe, but I don't think it's the second or third. Maybe I'm remembering that wrong. Can I whistle this? Oh, no, I could, I'd have to dig it out, wouldn't I? But I'd have to get a watchy up there somehow. The yellow Pikmin would be most useful to have already. Does it look like it's sputtering? It looks pretty pale for an onion. What do you think? Should we take it with us? Well, if we can, absolutely. Oh, well, can we- wait, can I watch you just dig this out? Oh, I would need him. They can't reach it. Oh, boy, there's another uh, monster here. Oh, well, watch you can reach this. Okay, I want to unlock this shortcut, and then we'll go to that cave. We might not have enough time. Oh, watch here you are, my friend. So you can, uh, you can dig this or no? Looks like a no. Okay. Let's maybe avoid this for the moment, Owachi, because we don't have our strike force here. Let's, let's get them back by, um... Oh, wow, there's all sorts of interesting stuff going here. Can we push this clipboard down somehow? Metal plate is raised. Can you lower it? I guess we'd need, like, maybe we need purple pigment to weigh it down or something. Oh, or we need to flying pigment to grab that handle or something? I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll do something. But first, I'll watch you if you would open this uh, shortcut for us. Because we're separated from our crew at the moment. Let me get this big 10 pallet. They're all red anyway, so I suppose they still, want, still do want us to be building red pigment here. Yeah, I mean, you can give the, the different colored pallets to different uh, colored pigment, but it just doesn't give you as many. Almost there. And... Trunk. I way under overestimated how close we were for that being done. <laughs> okay. Ah, there we go. That was a useful shortcut to have. Uh, we'll, we'll grab those last few things, take down that last monster. They said they can't reach it. It makes it sound like the Pikmin can't, because they would have said Owachi if they meant uh, Owachi. The he if they meant Owachi. Oh, we're missing three still? Where are they gone? Uh, they're hanging around. Oh, are they? where are they going? Oh, they were going to get the rest of the materials, were they? Yes, they are. And now they have an easier way to bring it. Um, So let's bring... Uh... Well, let's just knock it. It's holding a whole thing down. I'm, I'm, I'm digging the use of Owachi so far. I'm just, uh, I'm always worried about him, him getting killed in a fight. And I, but I, and you know what? Um, even though it upsets me that I can't, <laughs> I'm not as good at hand-to-hand -hand in this game, I, it makes sense that they would de-emphasize your character's uh, physical combat abilities. Uh, can we take this down thing down with eight? I don't think that's a good idea. So can we, can we throw this, them up here or not? No, we're gonna need like a, a, a ladder or something to get up there later. So that's, that's a for later thing. Okay, so we're hitting the sunset times really soon now. We might not even get down that cave that this day, but... That's okay, that's okay. <laughs> like I was saying, this is no speedrun or anything of the sort. I'm, I'm just happy to, to... I'm just happy to finally be playing it. In fact, if anything, I'm happy as to, if it takes a long time, because I get to play P P uh, Pikmin for longer. Right, uh... Ooh, there's a walk pole up on land there. Can we reach that even? I kind of want to do want to go in there and investigate myself, but, uh... I don't think I guess I'll, I don't I won't be able to bring anything with us there. I really wish they would stop asking me if I know where all my Pikmin are. I've got it under control. You guys have no faith in me whatsoever. It's almost like you have, I've been bitten by a giant grub dog today, and you think I'm somehow bad at this. Oh, look at the time. An important part of any rescue mission is making sure you make your way back to the base before it gets dark. Well, now is as good a time as any to find out if going into caves stops time in this game like it does in Pikmin 2. <laughs> Man, those pellets, did they just regenerate? According to Captain Olimar's voyage log, Pikmin will be safe as long as they make it back to this area around the base, or if they're in your squad. Aww. It seems the creatures get even more aggressive at night. If any Pikmin are separated from the squad, you better collect them now. Roger that. Copy that! Okay, um... Stray Pikmin, these four, and then the two that I just sent uh, to gather that back to base. Let's uh, take down that uh, bulb orb quickly and then see if we can get into the cave before sunset. I hope we get some upgraded to our movement speed at some point, because this is a bit sluggish. Back to the left here. Right, okay. I will not be pressing minus end today's exploration. There's more exploration to be done. Let's hope I can actually get this here in time. Oh man, the, talk is, the clock is ticking quickly. Are you... 
Oh, there's treasure hanging on the wall there. Uh, time to die. Sorry. This is how this is on this heck of an earth. Ow! Oh, that hurt. That hurt. That hurt in a big way. No, 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 no. Oh, it wouldn't let me throw. That was very, very bad. I was very... That was not at all how I wanted that to go. I'm sorry. I made a total mess of that. I'm really wounded. I'm glad they make your health low, too, because I think your health... In basically all the other games, your health is a bit a, a bit broken how, how much you have. Um, okay. Let's not mess with uh, this wall today. We'll see about getting into the cave of anything else, but we could probably get these uh, back to base before this timer ends. I hope. Come on, help them out there. Let's get it going a little faster. Oh, we might not make it. Two. Ah, we're not going to make that. I might as well just call them into my squad. Well, that's a job well done anyway for today. We can set us out from the rugged scaffold next time. Never gets old. We didn't get any treasure today, but um, don't worry about it. We explored a heck of a lot. Next day, we'll be doing fine. We have tons of Pikmin as well. I've only lost one in that fight, and you know, most of my collarbone. Try to practice it in everyday life. Look, don't judge me for being a scatterbrain game. Sorry, didn't find any of our uh, missing crewmates today, but it's because I was focused on much more important stuff, maybe. All right, uh, no one rescued, sorry. No treasure found, sorry. Uh, lost one Pikmin, but we've got 101 now, so that's, wait, huh, what do you mean? Oh, sorry, 101 new ones, so 113 total. Okay, we probably can stop gathering uh, red Pikmin now. I think we've got it, we'll have enough. We got a whole bunch of raw material anyway. This this next day, we'll be able to set out and it'll be great. Great work today. It's a shame we couldn't track down any of our missing rescue officers. We haven't detected any rescue signals above ground. Hmm. The rescue corps does attract the adventurous type. If any of them were fun to find a cave, they'd probably dive right in. Don't worry. I'll go there. <laughs> I was just surveying. Also, it bears noting that, um, Pikmin is kind of like Kirby in, in this, that was one of those games where I feel like the the real experience, like, you get the best experience if you go for 100% and try and get everything, because it sort of forces you around the most areas of the map and all, and to interact with most of the systems, so we're probably going to go for 100% in this playthrough. Which is to say, if I accidentally beat the game before 100%ing, like, the main objectives in the story, like, like all the treasures and stuff. I'll probably carry on the playthrough till we get them all. That is where we found you, Captain. Tomorrow, let's focus on exploring and seeking out more caves. In Pikmin 1, the game doesn't stop till you've 100%ed it, or uh, you realize support runs out and you die, or life of support runs out and you leave and you're fine. In Pikmin 2, the game doesn't really stop until you've 100%ed it anyway. Like, there's just, it just sort of keeps going. Like, there's a, well, anyway. And in Pikmin 3, but in Pikmin 3, you can beat the last boss before you've got stuff, and it ends the game there. So I, if it's the same as Pikmin 3, where it's like, obviously gonna be like, here's the last boss area, then I gotta be careful to, to dodge that. Man, I can imagine them bringing back Water Race in this game, because that's such a, it's such a Pikmin thing, right? Like, I can't, I can't, now that Pikmin's like, Pikmin has a bit more of an identity after the third game, I feel like. It's, it's more of like a, a series. With some staples. I can't wait to see what, like, classic stuff they bring back. It feels like there's a lot of stuff so far that's like a love letter to the earlier games. Right, we did find you in a cave, Captain, so I'll be checking that other cave out, uh, this very time. So is it d day three we get to start up a base here and stock up on- Okay, so they, they give you this to give you a few extra Pikmin at the beginning of each day, which is very kind of them. So I say we might as well stock up any Pikmin they give us here. Maybe as we get a little farther, we'll be able to like upgrade the max number of Pikmin we can have out in the field. This is a nice little home base area we've got here. Hello! <laughs> but they've got new dialogue since we've hit a new area and all. As far as taking your skills to the next level goes, do not worry. I'm putting together a thorough training regimen. Oh dear. <laughs> I'm just so relieved. Oh right, okay, this is the same. Let's do this. Right, so once we get enough sparkly, and we'll unlock more areas to explore is the idea. It's kind of like the... The, the long-range beacons that you get in Pikmin 3 and the um, hemispheres you get in Pikmin 2. And I guess just the threshold of ship parts you get in Pikmin 1. All right, I wonder if it's going to let us pick which uh, base to land at or if we always land at the first one. All right, we were mostly doing a lot of surveying uh, last episode, uh, sorry, last uh, yesterday, but uh, today we're going to put we're gonna put a move on here and get uh, some progress done and treasures and all. So far in this game, the combat, oh, that, that corpse stayed around here from yesterday, cool. I think that doesn't happen in Pikmin 2, but it does happen in Pikmin 1, maybe. Or maybe I'm thinking of the treasures and Pikmin, the treasures uh, ship parts. Anyway, now here's a thought. Do they give you the flowered Pikmin as many as there are first? I'm actually not sure. Uh, you know what, well, let's leave that there in case we end up finding the yellow Pikmin today, because then we could give it to them. It's close enough to home that we could always uh, pick it up later. Uh, let's just ignore the pallets for now and get it down into our base, because we've got tons of Pikmin. Was there anything else I wanted to explore just before we did go? Oh, we, uh, no, you know what, actually, we should probably break this wall open and, and explore the whole thing. Sorry, sorry, sorry. The more we can explore above ground here, the better. 
so we know exactly what to do when we come back out and uh, get this yellow Pikmin, because I imagine that's going to happen before we leave this area. I mean, maybe not. Maybe we'll have to get some other Pikmin to go dig that out. Like, maybe we'll find pink Pikmin first. I don't even know if they're in this game. We'll demolish this. Can I help punch it myself? Eh, eh, eh. Maybe. I'm going to try anyway, whether or not I'm helping. I'm, <laughs> I want to look like I'm helping. Is that a squeaky hammer over there? That's a treasure we could certainly actually pick up. This uh, stopwatch thing over here, it looks like uh, we're, our Pikmin can't jump high enough, so we need yellow Pikmin for that, probably. Thank you for auto-picking those up. Oh, another hole we can dig out here. Oh, interesting. I'll send our uh, watch you to do that while we get these. Oh, there's a pair of binoculars, not uh, a squeaky hammer. And uh, we need 10 of them to push this out here. Actually, let's push this down first. Oh, you can whistle them once for them to stop, and then again to, to have them, like, stop uh, carrying the thing. That seems interesting and useful. Oh, did you finish digging that out already? Well done, Oachi. Paper bag lowered. Good, that's a, a shortcut for us. All right, well, while those are carrying this, uh, this back in, we may as well uh, pick up the face here. Get some of this gear... Uh, Covered. Should we go into the cave? Should we sequence break and go to the other cave first, or should we go into the cave they suggested? You know what? Start with the one, the new, the new one we just found, so we can be special and go where no Gaian has gone before. Well, I mean, hopefully a Gaian has gone there before, and we're about to run into them, but we'll find out. New treasure collected. Can't wait to see what that one's named. Four of a set. What set that would be? I don't know. Explorer set of some kind, I guess. It was 180 energy for that. Pajump! In we get. I wonder if there might be a voyage log entry related to these coordinates. Oh, yep, here it is. Crackling cauldron. I was feeling hotter than usual in my spacesuit, and when I looked down, the ground was on fire. I panicked, but Red Pikmin just gave me a silent glance. Totally unfazed as the fire looked at them. They're clearly capable of more than just skillful attacks. Right, we already knew about that. But, um, am I gonna die if I go down there? Take a look at this! That Cat Nolimar certainly gets thorough, isn't he? He's, no he's nothing if not. According to the log, anytime you enter a cave, you should take Pikmin with you. The SS Beagle can bring the Pikmin, so you can enter the cave without stopping by the base first. Oh, cool. The Pikmin that remain on the surface can't just be left out here, so let's return them to the Onion for the time being. What you mean? I want to bring them with us. Unfinished tasks on the surface will be called off. Oh, like if I was having anyone carry anything, right. Well, not to worry. Oh, so he's got notes about every place. Crackling Cauldron. Well, let's give it a try, why don't we? I'm feeling ready for something dangerous since I... Made a fool of myself yesterday, <laughs> getting bitten by that uh, bulb orb. Rescues and treasure. Oh, but it doesn't say onions. So maybe does it know that there are rescues down here to be made? Yes. Yeah, so you, you think it would be weird that there would be could be rescues during all the caves if we only have seven crew members? Maybe we're gonna be rescuing other people from not Gaia at some point, including but not limited to Olimar. Oh man, we should have had yellow pigment before going here, shouldn't we? Is there a way to to dip here? Oh, I don't see the, 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 the timer here. So I think it is like Pikmin 2 where uh, time does not pass while you're in here. Perfect. So we can explore these at our leisure. Some more nectar down here, which we may as well yoink. So I guess we won't be able to do all this till we're, um, uh, as we've got those yellow Pikmin on our crew. But since it doesn't, uh, time stops for here, we may as well explore as much of it as we can at the moment. Might give us some new useful gear or some such hanging around here. And, um, watch if you would. That's the wrong button. Hang on. Thank you. Uh, just stay here. Wait, leave all but- oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Leave him here. <laughs> I don't want you getting set on fire. Alright, good. Uh, we'll just uh, strafe around them, hit them from the back, uh, punch them a bit while they're trying to blow fire, as though that will do anything to these fire Pikmin. The red Pikmin there, and uh, back up a bit. I could have called- whistled them over here to make this go a little faster, but... The speed is not of uh, the utmost importance at the moment, so I'm not too worried. Now, uh... What happens when you pick up a, a monster in a cave in this game? Does it just does it just send it back to the base and, and propagate more Pikmin? Or do you get Sparklium from them, like in Pikmin 2? Where you get money for uh, monsters you retrieve while in a cave. This I'd like to see. Well, good thing there's still a bit of nectar here, because we lost a bunch in that fight. Getting jostled around and whatnot. What's going to happen here? Oh, and it even has the little intrigue charm from the other ones. Oh yeah, they get converted to Sparklium when you're underground, just like in Pikmin 2. What's this? That's not treasure. Uh, treasure or not, it does appear to contain some sparklium. You might as well keep collecting those defeated creatures. They may be enough to help, if you don't leave in a little. Right. Sorry, I didn't say words there just then. Got it. That's useful. I was thinking I w it wouldn't be fun, but it would probably be possible to do a run of Pikmin 2 where you didn't get any treasures, uh, and you just stayed in the starting area and went down in caves and got enough money to repay the debt. That would be probably really funny if you did that. I guess you could do something similar here. Um, nevertheless. Oh dear, some swooping snitch bugs. Oh no, there's a shear grubs, are they? Oh, bugger. Listen to you. Out of the sky! Oh, I, I grounded it, but I didn't one-shot it. Uh, <gasps> there are yellow Pikmin there! Yes! So we can bring them out to dig out the, the actual onion when we get up back up top. Oh, perfect. Okay, so going here first was an excellent idea. Uh, 
Hello! According to the research pod, they should have been called Ear Pikmin, but I think Yellow Pikmin works well. We're doing, we've are doing, we been doing colors with everything else. Why we call one red and the other one's Ear Pikmin? Is this a new type of Pikmin? I should check to see if Olimar's log says anything about them. Why don't you just read all of Olimar's log? <laughs> so when he's like, hey, don't ever go into the submerged castle, we can know that. I've decided to call the yellow colored Pikmin uh, with large like ear-like appendages Yellow Pikmin. I like the name a lot uh, more than Ear Pikmin. <laughs> Suck at Research Pod. Um, they're resistant to electricity and they fly out when thrown. Plus, they're good at digging. Oh, interesting. That's a new property. Resistant to electricity. How unusual. What in the world are they made of? That sounds like a potentially useful quality, though. They look kind of rubbery. <laughs> Just be careful how you deploy them. There aren't that many. Yes, not at the moment, anyway. Good, okay, so from here on, for, uh, we should... Like, I'm glad I left that, um... Uh... Bulborg carcass uh, up at base, so we can give that to Yellow Pikmin once we are, uh... Back up there. Huh? That seems like a lot of Pikmin. It's your squad bigger than normal. Oh, I see! When you're underground, you can have a larger squad because the wild Pikmin you find will join you. Oh, interesting. So it's 20 is going to be our max squad when we're up at the surface until we get some sort of upgrade, probably. Is this Vaseline? Oh no, it's yellow paint. Oh, and we're great at digging holes. Well, let's just send them all to it, why don't we? Wow! Oh yeah, in uh, Pikmin 3 they changed it so the yellow Pikmin have different voices. Excavation complete. Oh, what's... can we lead... Uh, uh, sorry. Can I leave... leave... no, not leave all but yellow. Okay, so you want, you want to put it all in the one that you want to keep with you, right? So leave all but uh, the red Pikmin here. Gotcha. That I want. So I can uh, tackle this uh, with just us. We don't risk anyone else being set on fire. Or anyone, period, being set on fire, because this one can't be set on fire. Oh, here, there's a sheer guard attacking at the same time. Oh, uh, that's not good. Uh, I'll just take you out before you have a chance to interfere with us over here. Okay. Cool, I'm sort of getting the hang of the, the flow of combat in this game now. It does work a little bit differently than uh, the other ones with the whole lock-ons and everything. Uh, hey, thanks! Let's get these resources here. <laughs> it's like a fridge that I'm being held up here to... It's like a mafia. I feel like a mafia boss is gonna kill us. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lure them in out here and punch them. Yeah! Yeah, you couldn't... Oh, yeah, we've got all the time in the world down here. I was held back by the sunset timer before, but no longer. You couldn't handle me at my best. Dunk punch. Lee punch! You can't handle my Lee punch. Nor my Lee palm strike, nor my Lee kick, nor my Lee karate chop. This is how we do things back on planet Gaia. Push, wait, I can push this myself? Oh no, I, they're saying I can send people out to push it if I had any. Ow! Um, hey, th it was already done its biting animation. Oh no, never mind. It's biting, it, it bite happens right at the end of the, the dive. I didn't realize that. Right, you, you, wanna, you wanna run between its, its, its mandibles and circle around to the back. Oop! No, I've not lost track of any Pikmin. They're doing the, what, the, they're doing God's work, as am I. Oh, I floored it! Oh, that's right, yeah, yeah, take that, take that, take that! Every, anytime you take it when it's in the Reddit, you floor it. Nice, okay, got it. Flonked! Alright, good. <laughs> How, how's progress coming on that collection job, y'all? Ooh, what is that? A pastry or something? A pastry with, like, a blanket on it. Alright, you, uh, gather that if you would. Oh, I guess I can throw yellow Pikmin up here to weigh that down. Uh, I gotta wait, you gotta get the rest of them, though. Man, if you'd lost any in any of these fights, you would, uh, not be able to bring that thing down. Yeah, it's like a cookie with a, a, ba a blanket on it, is it? Or no, it's, it's like a, got, like, Seaweed on her or something. Anyway, uh, watch it if you could help them help them with that one. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be. It looks yummy, whatever it is. 94 raw materials and 573 sparkly at the moment. Don't mind that. It's not as though we can bring the creatures back to use them uh, on the surface as food for the Pikmin anyway, so we don't really need to worry about... Um, we, we may as well just collect all the ones we find down here, just like a Pikmin 2. Right, uh, I can use my seven uh, electrics here to... Uh, knock this down, and not throw any red Pikmin at it, because that's an instant death. Or no! In Pikmin 3, they made it so electricity is no longer an instant death. It's kind of like the other ones where it, like, it hits them and then you have a minute to call, uh, to whistle uh, them to safety. Even still, I, I wouldn't feel good about throwing anyone face first into an electric fence. If I didn't, wasn't sure they could handle it. Nice to get little raw materials after all the uh, gates and stuff you break in this game. Oh, I'm so glad that there's no time limit underneath the ground. Bada bum, bada bum. What set is that part of? Oh, one we haven't seen yet. Cool. Haven't lost any Pikmin today. That's good. A good sign. Oh, we're 4% of the Sun Speckled Terrace. Wow. Clearly there's a lot more to this place than I thought. Uh, oh, whoops. Well, I, I can use red, uh, yellow Pikmin for this, but, um, well, since we have no time, why would we do anything but, uh, just charging them with the red Pikmin? The only thing we stand to lose here is, uh, pet flower petals. And maybe a bit of health for me if I'm an idiot. Alright, I'll just call them back here and then just, uh, re stock them all back on its back because it's, it's faster if you can throw them on like that rather than leave them to run up themselves. 
Fall, beast, fall. Sorry for coming in here and wrecking your stuff. Oh no, I, you didn't have to use the yellow pigment for this. If you got it this far, you could use the red pigment on it. Cool. Let's do that. What is that exactly? Like a cell phone or something? Wipe. Huh. And this is a hole deeper into the cave. Nice. We'll be here in there real soon. Um, But that's all the treasure here? Right, okay, good. We're scouting this place well. I guess we don't really need to put this down, but um, just in case something falls out of it, like some resources or whatever. Sorry, I shouldn't left you guys to push that by yourself. That's really mean. Can I whistle from down here? Ah! Oh, I sure can. Sweet. <laughs> That's fun. And a bit different to how they sound in the other games. When they're carrying stuff, I mean. There you go. Shove that on down. Perfect. No resource for us from it, but if we ever needed to return to this place for some reason, um, I suppose... Having a shortcut would be nice. So like I was saying, so far very reminiscent in gameplay, most reminiscent in gameplay to Pikmin 3, which is uh, which is totally cool. And makes enough sense, because uh, even though I have, I have I hold a lot of... I love Pikmin 1 and 2. Um, I understand that there are some elements of that that feel a little, a little dated. I mean, personally, I, I, I feel like the combat works even without a, a lock-on, but I understand why it would be tedious without it. Uh, Pikmin currently outside your squad will come with you. Good. There are none of those anyway. Bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum. Oh, it doesn't even do that little chime when you're uh, mid cave in this game. In Pikmin 2, it does. Crackling Cauldron sub level 2. Oh, right. They, they said there was going to be fire. So, progress 50%. So, I guess that means we're. Uh, this is the final sub level then. Is it going to go the. In this game? Where is it, boy? Good boy, Awachi. He's picked up a castaway scent. Oh, perfect. It has to be one of our missing rescue officers. Time to get them back to safety. Does it have to be? Aw, oh, there's no... Well, I don't even know why I would use the scent here, because we're going to be exploring this whole place anyway. So, Crackling Cauldron, can we um, send the Red Pikmin out to, like, smash this thing? Well, I can target it, so probably. Yep, we can. So, uh, that'll uh, stop this view of magma and our friends can come through then. Good. Um, let's get the uh, sizzling floor extinguished. Nice. It's, it's nice it gives you little status updates on where your tasks are. Let's get some of these Yellow Pikmin uh, nectared up and the rest of our crew. And we'll all be moving quickly. It also increases their speed for carrying stuff. It's not just for when they're running in your party, so it's very useful to have your Pikmin all nectared up. Uh, the Sheer Grub here. Fall! That goes much faster than fighting it myself. <laughs> Alright, let's get some of them gathering these resources, some of them on this, and then put the yellow Pikmin all uh, uh, on this fence here, because it looks like it's going to take a little bit of doing. Whoa, what is that over there? Something's sending out some kind of signal. Is that our a, a missing friend? Oh yeah, it looks like someone's unconscious over there. Oh, let's go help them out. But like I was saying, since they're survivors, it's like a stat. There's, surely there are more of those than just our crew hanging around this planet. I mean, everyone who goes here crashes, so I have to imagine we and Olimar are not the only ones here. A whole bunch of raw materials there. Uh, we don't need this yellow equipment for dealing with this fire, so I won't worry about them while we're clearing this out. Ten on that one and ten on the other one. Uh, other one... Oh, okay, whatever. Those ones are going over there. <laughs> I suppose we can use our yellow pigment to carry this person down from this high height. Uh, it's extinguished? Good. Three people needed to, to carry it. We found a castaway! Uh, hurry and check their vitals! I mean, there's, there's look to be breathing. Pulse, blood pressure, temperature. All within normal parameters. Looks like their life support system did its job. Allez. We should transport them back to the SSB go and verify their ID badge. Yes, their helmets fogged up to buggery. How the hell did they get up here? I'll never know, but... Well, maybe they'll tell us. But there's more to be uh, gathered on this uh, floor anyway, and it is the last one, so let's... Let's carry on while those uh, bunch return this person home. That looks like a monster in the middle to there. Unless it's a potato. Or a beet. Nope. I thought it was a monster, but it looks to be good stuff. Castaway is restored! You did it! Let's take a look and see what the idea badge tells us. Hey, this is... Russ, Gaia! Okay, so they're uh, uh, one of our crew. An inventor, material engineer, and lover of all things science. Oh, perfect! He can develop all kinds of useful gadgets with the right raw materials. Well, <laughs> ain't that good. Oh, so can you like, give... I was thinking he would just be able to give us, like, the bridges, but could he also give us, like, upgrades and stuff? Like, increase our running speed or our Pikmin squad capacity or things like that? Oh, I think the stars he's all right! This is Russ, the scientist in charge of repairs and upgrades for our spacesuits in the SS Shepard. His technical knowledge will be beyond helpful during this rescue mission. Marvelous. Found the scientist. Only three more members of our crew left his rescue. From Rescue the Rescue Corps' talented scientist. Keep searching for the rescue, uh, rest of the rescue officers. Will do. Are they going to go dig that up or go to the fire now? Are you all done down there? I sure am not. There are more yellow Pikmin down here and like some kind of root vegetable that I kind of want. Probably has some sparkly on it. I don't, I'm like nervous to send anyone. What is that? Something over there has eyes. Anyway, uh, this is the enforcement extinguished, so yellow Pikmin if you would. 
help this uh, digging effort. The white Pikmin and Pikmin do can dig. Oh, it's like a, yeah, it's like a beater. Is it a red potato or a bee? I'm not actually sure. No, no, it's not a bee. It doesn't look right, quite right for a bee. The white Pikmin and Pikmin two can dig th items that are completely submerged on the ground and otherwise can't be seen. But um, I don't think they had like a faster digging skills or anything. So it's cool that they've given us one that finally has that. But then again, there wasn't much buried stuff in the other games. Cool. I can't wait to see what the ship calls that. Indeed. Yep, we're actually getting quite far along with that, and farther than I expected from just the one uh, expedition to cave here. One spelunkening. What? Is it coming over this way? It made a spooky noise. I really don't like the look of that thing and its weird eyes and it's sitting on fire and such. I'm guessing it's going to be one we want to engage with fire pigments. This isn't cauldron after all. Is it going to try and attack? Oh my god! No, no, get off that! Oh, oh my god, that's terrifying. Oh my goodness. Wait, so maybe other Pikmin can attack from other sides uh, that aren't don't have the magma on it. Holy crap! That was not at all how I expected that thing to do that. That's horrid, horrific. Uh, at least we got it down in the end. <laughs> Jeepers! <laughs> I was I don't know what I was expecting. I was expecting like a tongue or like a, a small mouth to come up. Ooh, is that a macaron and a donut? This is perfect. One two three, and one two three. Or it's like a granola circle or something. Not quite a donut. Uh, sure, let's demolish this wall with you, Bunch. Oh, cheer grubs. No bugger. Uh, floor you with those, Bunch, and then take you down with them. Um, get a few on that. A few on this. Do the red smashing this, and that's our exit, uh, vent gate thing. What's this about? Oh, we can move the base here. Let's do that. I didn't realize there would be those underground. Sorry if anyone who's already going to the other one. <laughs> oh, man, those four ones were all, like, halfway there. Marvelous. Just about cleared this whole thing. Mercifully, we don't have to worry about the time underground, though. Wait, have, is this a part of the area we've been to yet? New treasure collected. Is it part of a set we already have? Yep. It's like a treat set or something. I dig it. Is that what those called, are called? Macarons, I think? Oh, there are more uh, yellow pigment buried on here. Wait, have we not been to this part? Oh, no, right. This is right where we got the, the person, but I didn't explore this particular corner. Oh, there's more shigrubs here. Whoa, 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 there. Jeez, that was close. I was asleep at the wheel there. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> they just get cuter with every iteration, don't they? We've already got a tidy sum of yellow Pikmin uh, out on the on the team at this point. Uh, even even at this uh, early juncture into our partnerships, so that's good. Wait, there are seven I'm missing. Where are they? Carrying something still? Wait, just so I know, where's the map point? The map shows where Lee's facing, not where the camera's facing. Gotcha. Oh wait, maybe. Wait, hang on. No, no, no. Sorry, it does show where the camera's facing. Which means I'm going. I gotta go this way. Right, okay. All right, I can even see them there. Oh no, they were just hanging out at the old base. Gotcha. <laughs> well, everyone's all flowered up, so we don't need any more nectar. Let's get. Let's blow this popsicle stand. I think we've 100 uh, percent at this place, but I think it's probably like uh, Pikmin 2, where it only tells you how many treasures are in the whole thing, how, how much everything is in the whole thing once you left leave. So we're about to see if we 100 percented it. They were singing. Sorry, they were singing a marching song, and then I stopped moving. Let's return to the service. <laughs> And incidentally, that's all the time we have for this episode, so I hope it saves in a moment here. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my god, I even got the, the Pikmin 2 end of cave music. Dun, 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 mix of like that sort of like childlike whimsy and optimism but also like this epic hero hero heroism to it it's just so dope so one rescue here sparkly in total whoa 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 slow down there oh and the music picks up a bit when you get into the treasure part too that's cool illumination goo deceptive snack dusty bed is it like a bunch of like antiseptic wipes or something daughter of the earth cookie of nibbled circles ss chocolate and uh in total creatures gave us 29 sparkly -um. how about them apples investigation complete 100 percent Oh, that's cool. So there was one rescue and six treasures down there. Sub-level details. Oh, cool. Saving, there it is. So before it returns us to the surface and we continue exploring on that day, that's all for now, but I'm having such a great time. Next video going on the channel is going to be some more Tears of the Kingdom, which is also going for very well. And, and much like this game, we're sort of coming into the part where the training wheels are coming off and they're letting us out into the big wide world to have fun and explore. So that's all for now, but thank you so very much for coming around. Hopefully I will see you around. Admiral's going to be out of here now. Peace! Explaining is a drug swap. Come and swap. Not for the director of the center of the cosmos. <laughs> My testimony, which will go down in space history, will be heard in the courtroom. What? Does that mean you'll be taking the stand tomorrow? No, that is correct. I will be.